Live from the campus of Washington and Lee University, this is a Channel 18 Rockbridge News Update. Welcome to the Rockbridge Report Live News Update. I'm Ford Carson. Canada has elected its first new leader in 10 years, marking a dramatic political victory for the country's Liberal Party. The Liberal win ends a nine-year run by the Conservative Party and comes as a stunning blow to incumbent Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Liberal leader Justin Trudeau will assume his seat. 43-year-old Justin Trudeau is the son of former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. Some had dismissed the younger Trudeau as trading off of his father's achievements in the family name, but he argued that Can Canadians want change. This is what positive politics can do. This is what a positive, hopeful, a hopeful vision and a platform and a team together can make happen. Canadians from all across this great country sent a clear message tonight. It's time for a change in this country, my friends, a real change. Harper has conceded defeat and will resign as leader of the party, but said he'll remain in Parliament as a lawmaker. New poll numbers are in for the GOP presidential race. Candidates Donald Trump and Ben Carson are leading the pack as the only candidates with more than 20 percent support, with all other candidates dropping below 10 percent. Carson left eight points and sits in second place, just five points behind Trump at 27. Trump says he and Carson are more similar than citizens might realize. Well, we've hit a chord, and we're not as different as people think. You know, we have a very good relationship. We're not as different as people think, but there is a, a certain different style. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have some great assets, and he has some great assets. But uh, we are both resonating. There's no question about it. And NBC just came out with their poll, and it's very similar. I, I'm in first place, yeah. and Ben's in second place. And then I went up a lot, and uh, from my original, I've, I've gone up a lot. And... Um, you know, it's, uh, the other candidates are very similar, so maybe these polls are starting to really accurate out. Also today, Democratic candidate Jim Webb announced that he is withdrawing from the race. He said that he disagrees with the rest of the Democratic Party over many of the policies he has presented. Virginia's unemployment rate is the lowest it has been since 2008. Governor McAuliffe's office said today that the unemployment rate has declined steadily in the last three months and has now dropped below the national average. The Virginia Employment Commission says the change is not because of growing jobs, but because of a shrinking labor force. In September, the unemployment rate was measured at 4.3 percent. And that's it for this week's live news update. Be sure to tune in Thursday for our newscast at 4.30 p.m. We'll show you how Virginia House candidates Ben Klein and Ellen Arthur are preparing for election night just two weeks away. Thanks for staying updated and have a good evening.